Thank you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start the Instagram. Give me one second. All right, cool. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome back from our weekend. I hope everyone had a safe and enjoyable fourth, whatever you're up to. Um, for our workout today, we have pretty much just a well-rounded full body workout. Our intervals are gonna be 45 seconds. Um, we're not doing anything too crazy, uh, just getting a nice good workout in. So let's go ahead and start standing. And to warm up the body, let me get my cycle going, we're going to start with some shoulder rotations. So arms up like so, I'm going to drop my right hand down. And for 30 seconds, this to start to warm up our upper body. This is not strength, it's just pure mobility. I want you to rotate your arms side to side. Just starting to wake up the shoulder joint. And as you work through it, I really want you to press your hands in opposite directions. And it should feel pretty intense. Cool. Good. Elbows stay up. We're working through it. So our intervals are 45 seconds for our actual exercises. And we're going to do our usual two rounds. And I'm excited to be here and see everyone's smiling faces. You know you like what you do. When you enjoy being back. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Give them a big shrug. All right. So to start working our upper body today, we're going to do fingertip push-ups. So the thing we want to focus on working here is our forearm. So I'm going to make my way onto hands and knees. And I'm actually on the tips of my fingers, so it's not flat hands. So I'm on the very tips of my fingers, and it's a smaller range of motion. I stay on my knees, I drop into it, and I press back up. Now, it looks like a little baby push-up because that's exactly what it is. I'm staying on the very ends of my fingers the whole time. There's no need to actually come up off the knees, but you can scoot them back a little bit to make it more challenging. So first 45 seconds, let's go ahead and drop into that push-up and press yourself back up on the tips of the fingers. Come on into it and press your way back out. And if this is too hard on your wrist joint, you can always do fingertip firework, extending out to the side, okay? So we're about 20 seconds in. Let's keep working into it, whichever variation you're doing. We have two rounds, so taking this first one really slow. And I don't really care how low you drop into your push-ups. The thing I really wanna emphasize here is just staying on the tips of the fingers. So even if it's a baby bend in the elbows, that's fine. Last seven. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Well-deserved wrist circles, twirl them out. Good, other way. In 10, we're gonna start our second set. So make your way back down onto hands and knees. Good, come onto the tip of the fingers. We're going again in three, two, and one. 45 seconds, drop into it, and we rest. Yes. Great job, Instagram, great job, Zoom. Everyone's working. Even if you're just on the tips of your fingers and you're holding it here, that's cool too. Still working into the forearm. And if this is particularly hard for you and you don't have a wrist injury, it's probably something that's good to do to help build strength around the wrist joint. Nice. Last 20 seconds. Down and up. Great. Ooh, keep those fingers active. We have 10. Give me two more. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Quick stretch. Come on to the back of your left hand. Press the back of the hand down. Start to work the arm towards straight. And if you can keep the backs of all five fingers rooted into the floor, then you can start to shift your weight back, getting into that joint. Good. Release it. Come on to the back of the right hand. Press all five fingers down. Then we straighten out our arm. Then we can start to shift our way back. Great. And released it. Next exercise, we're working into our triceps with tricep dips. Uh, if you need a modification for this, you can do a tricep extension. Otherwise, hands underneath the shoulders. Press yourself up and off your butt. Heels are underneath knees. 45 seconds. We're going down and up, down and up. Time is rolling. Go ahead and jump in whenever you're ready. And I want you to do your best not to let your butt touch the floor. Now, depending on your strength, you can take a baby range of motion, little bend, or you can take a big old bend. Keep going. Nice. Good. Butts off the floor. Arms are nice and strong. Great, Bonnie. 
head. And if it starts to burn out, you feel like you can't do it anymore, just hold yourself up with nice, straight, strong arms. Good. Last 15 seconds. Cycles are going, arms are going. Good, we have seven, six, don't stop now. Four, three, two, and rest. Put your butt down, give the wrist a break. So that was set number one, we have one more. If you'd like an extra challenge for a second set, you can come into a straight leg position, down and up. So when my legs are straight, I have to support my butt. I don't have as much help with bent knees. So your choice, either bent knees or straight legs, we're going again in three, two, and one. Second set, 45 seconds, down and up. Now you know the exercise. From here, you can pick your pace. If you think you can move fast and sustain it, go for it. Otherwise, stay going slow, doing whatever you need to do. These are good. Hi, Clyde. I don't think I've met you before, but good to see you on today. <laughs> awesome. Nice, Lily. Great. We're half done, keep going. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good, last 10 seconds, we're going full burnout. Your arms are gonna be very tired and that's what we want. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and come up to sit or if you want, come up to the knees or to stand. We're doing our bicep curls. So this one, we're just picking up our imaginary weights. We have two 45 second sets. So that's a good amount of time to be pumping the biceps. I suggest going slower on the first set and faster on the second. So let's make sure our cycles are rolling. Good, pick up your imaginary weights. We have 45 seconds. We're going up and down. Jump in, time is rolling. Up and down. Good. We move elbows in towards the middle of the body. I wonder if you counted up the sum total of all of our workouts after the last two or three months, how many bicep curls we've done. I think it's safe to say maybe close to a thousand. Awesome. And down, good. Squeeze it. Half done. Great. Good. Starting to see those veins working. Feeling that tension of the band. Last 10. Good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it, roll it out. After our next set, we'll take a quick stretch of the upper body. Then we're gonna drop down for two more exercises and then we'll keep rolling. So second set, elbows in. We're gonna go again in five, four, three and two this time. If you want to add a little bit of speed, 45 seconds, bicep curl. And if this feels incredibly easy, remember you can always adapt your cycle. Nice thing about these bands, we don't actually need weights up and up. Now, if you did have weights at home, you could always pick those up and grab those to make this even harder. Good. If you want to move faster, go for it. Half done. Keep pumping. Awesome. 15 more seconds. Let's pick up a little bit of pace. Go all out. We have 10. Yes, keep it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Quick bicep stretch. First, clasp your hands at the base of your spine. Pull the shoulder blades together so you create space across the chest. And then once you're here, you can start to lengthen your arms out. And if your arms don't go straight, that's fine. Lengthen them as much as you can and make sure to breathe. All right, last two exercises. The first one is a forearm plank hip dip. So I'm working my shoulders, my triceps, and my back here. I come into a forearm plank position, elbows underneath shoulders, and I rock side to side, tapping alternating hips down to the floor. Modification, you can do this on your knees. The point here is that my upper body is getting the workout, so my shoulders stay stable, whichever variation I'm in. Okay, so make your way down into forearm plank. We're gonna start in five, four, three, and two, side to side, tapping alternating hip down to the floor. So we're also getting some core work in here as well. Good, my elbows stay rooted into the floor the whole time. 
Nice. Yeah, and if you're on your knees, you're still working the same thing, getting alternating hips down to the floor. You guys keep going. We are half done. Great. Nice. Good, last 10. If you need to pause in forearm plank, that's fine. Just hold it, just do something. Get some movement in there. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up onto the hands. Give the shoulders a roll and a release. In 10 seconds, we're gonna make our way down for our second set. So start to come down onto your forearms. Step your way back into plank. We're going again in three. Two and one. Hip dips, side to side. Uh, now we know the move. Keep going. I'm going to watch and check on our form Instagram. I can't see you guys, but keep doing what you're doing. As long as you're squeezing the shoulders, squeezing your core, you're doing the right thing. Awesome. Good. <laughs> Last 20 seconds. Keep going. A lot of oblique work, but I like that. It makes us stronger. As you push the floor away from you with your forearms, get that thing out of there. Good. We have 10. Don't stop now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Give your arms a break. You can roll them out. I'll demonstrate our last exercise, and then we'll jump on in it together. So, this one is alternating limb plank lift. There is a modification if you'd like it. So I come into high plank position and I lift my left hand and my right foot up, down, up, down. So I'm lifting alternating limbs. If you really want to challenge, you can extend them forward. Down, up, down. Now, the modification is lifting alternating hands. Okay, so whichever one you choose, you can either do alternating limbs or just alternating hands. I'm happy, and if you absolutely need to tap your knees down, that's fine too. So let's all make our way into plank position. We're going to start this exercise in four, three, two, and let's go. Alternating limb lifts, option extend them forward, really challenging the balance. There we go. Great. Good. And focus a lot on stability here. So that hand that's rooted into the floor, engage every single muscle of that arm to keep you stable. Yeah, the brain workout too. Nice job. Oh, good day and go. Yes. I see everyone trying and I love it. That's what matters. Last 15. Jim, amazing. Good. We have seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and rest. Set them down. Give your hips to rock side to side. We're going to come up for our last set for the upper body of the day in four, three, two, and let's go. Step back into plank, alternating limb lifts up and up. You can play with just the hands. You can play with straight limbs. And the wider you step the feet, the easier it is. But I didn't tell you that. Just a little secret. Keep it up. All right. Good. Got some balance going today. Great. Mm -hmm. 15 more seconds. Keep going. Even if it's slow, try not to let your knees drop. Do your best. Good. Last six. Give me two more lifts. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Everyone come on up to stand. We're going to elevate our heart rate a little bit with our armbands on. We've got 90 seconds of work. And then we're going to swap out our bands for our leg bands and we'll have our question of the day. So our cardio interval today is 30 seconds each. The first one, very fitting for upper body, uh, is inchworm. So I walk it out. I walk it in and I jump, arms overhead. And I really want to see your arms go up because we're getting into the shoulder mobility. I walk it out, I walk it in, 
and I jump. So we have 30 seconds of those. The next 30 seconds, cross jack. I'm jumping across the body, arms coming side to side. And the last 30 seconds is a butt kick variation. So I start with my hands behind my head. I'm doing butt kicks. I drop my hands down. I work them back. Drop them down, work them back, okay? So first 30 seconds, let's walk to the back of our workspace. We've got inchworms in three, two, and one. Here we go, walk it out. Walk back up. Let me see you jump. Walk it out. Walk it up. And jump. Keep going. Mm -hmm. And the faster we can go, the better. The whole goal here is to elevate our heart rate. Let me see a big old leap on that jump. Arms up. If you want to go woo, don't let me stop you. Last six. Then we're going to come up for cross jacks in four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop up to stand. 30 seconds cross jacks. Here we go. Good. Maybe we can pick up the pace. Also, if the jumping isn't working, you can always step. Otherwise, let me see jump. Half done. After this, we have our butt kicks. Get all out. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Start with your butt kicks. Hands behind the head. As you're doing it, bring your arms down and up and down and up. That's the step. Now go fast. Yes, I see arms flying. I love it. Last 15 seconds. Woo, pick up that pace. We have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a deep breath. Swap out your arm bands for your leg bands. Have a big sip of water. And Instagram on Zoom, we have our question of the day. Feel free to toss your answer into the chat if you want. So the question of the day is, what is your secret superpower? It can be anything from finishing all the food that's left over from a family dinner. It can be, I know how to paint with my eyes closed, whatever that might be. Uh, let's share, what is one of your secret superpowers? Oh boy, George, that was fast. He says, Problem solving. I'm not shocked by that answer. <laughs> what else we got? Steve says patience. <laughs> I think that's a good one. All right. What else? Problem solving. We've got patience. I would say one of mine. I have a few. One of them is making costumes. I'm oddly really good at that. <laughs> um, what else? I want to see two more answers and then we'll start our work as we pop on our leg bands and get going. Uh, Steve said, what was your best Halloween costume? Oh, that's so hard. That's like asking your favorite food. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Uh, one of them, hmm, my best Halloween costume. Uh, Kayleen says making people laugh. I, I try to think of my best Halloween costume. Honestly, one of them was like a strawberry, but I hand sewed the dress out of some pillowcases and it came out really well and I was just proud of it. I felt very resourceful. <laughs> Kayleen making people laugh. All right, I want one more answer and then we'll get going. Popping on my leg band. I'm going to call someone out. Going to do it. Mm. <laughs> I don't have the boy swimmers on that today. I can't pick on them. All right. Well, I'm happy. We learned some of our superpowers. We can keep going. Okay. So leg bands are on. We're going to start working the muscles of our calves. So come on up to stand. And before we work the calves, let's quickly release our hips and our hamstrings. So hands across the shoulders. Feet are slightly wider than hip distance. Keeping my spine straight, we're going to take 30 seconds of good morning. So keeping the back flat, hinge forward, press the hips forward, rise up to stand. Hinge into it, straight spine. As you rise up, press the hips forward, engage in the glutes. Good. Opening up the back of the legs and spine. Last 10 seconds. Good. Let's take one more. We have five, four, three. Two and one, step the feet even wider, heels to toes them out. 
big old bend into the right leg. And come back through center, big old bend into the left leg. Come back up through center one more time, over to the right, get really low. <laughs> and come back up over to the left, as low as you can go, keeping the heels rooted down. And come back up through center. All right, heel toe the feet together so they are underneath the hips. And for calf bicycles, I lift my heels off the floor and then I drop alternating heels down to the floor one at a time. Now I want you to do your best not to let the heels touch the floor. So I want to keep them at least hovered the whole time to require some balance. All right, so we've got 45 seconds. First set, we're coming up in about eight seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and lift both heels up. Here we go, three, two, and one. 45 seconds. Bicycling out the legs, working into the calves. And I always find that these require some balance to see where you can engage through your core and your glutes to help provide stability. And if you want to go fast, go fast. Just try and do your best to keep your heels off the floor. Always working smaller muscles before bigger ones. Awesome. Half done. Yeah, get those heels up even higher. There we go. Nice. Last 10. After this, we've got one more set. In seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Pedal out the legs a little bit. In 10 seconds, we're going to lift up again and go into our second set. We have four, three, two. Heels off the floor. Second set. This time, if you want to add speed, go for it. Cycle it out nice and fast. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Feels like I'm dancing. After this, we're gonna get our heart rate up. And then we have three more lower body exercises. So let's make them great, especially because we have the 45 second intervals, building strength, working through it. Yeah, last 20. Heels up. And it feels like a little run. Nice. Good, 10, nine, make them fast. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Let's get the heart rate out. First up, we have inchworm. 30 seconds. Ready, set, and go. Walk it out. Walk it in. Let me see that jump. Walk it out. Walk it in. And we jump. Keep going. After this, we're coming up for cross decks. And the last 10 seconds. Woo! Nice, we have eight, seven, one more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up, cross jack, side to side. Monday, starting out strong. Awesome. Last 10, then we have our butt kick variation. Good. All in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Butt kick it. Hands behind the head. Reach it down. Reach it up. Reach it down. Reach it up. There we go. Get those feet going. Kind of like patting your head and rubbing your belly. Some coordination going on here. Last 10. Run it out. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Next exercise of the day, grab a sip of water while I demonstrate, is side to side goblet squat. So I want you to imagine that you're holding a heavy weight in your hands. So we wanna move a little bit slower through these to build some strength. So I'm standing, feet hip distance. I step out to the side, come down, center, side, come down, center. So each time you do it, I want you to try and drop your butt a little bit lower. And from the side view, you'll notice that my knees are not shooting forward. So my weight is back. I'm dropping my butt down towards the floor. I rise back up. Okay. So let's go ahead and come up to stand. Feet hip distance. Pick up your imaginary weight. I want you to hold, hold that the whole time. 45 seconds. Here we go. Side to side. 
and center, other side and center. Now get low and you can go fast or you can go slow, but I want you to see how low down you can get your butt to the floor. Nice. Great. Amazing. Good, Bonnie. Nice. Kayleen and sister, I'm terrible, I forgot your name, but it looks good. <laughs> Kazaya, close. <laughs> awesome, last 10. Mm -hmm. Amazing, we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Hands in the hips, circle them around. For this next set, if you want more of a challenge, take your hands behind your head. Same thing, we're going side to side, but make sure your spine stays straight. I don't want to see this, okay? We're going in three, two, and one, side to side. Get low, come center, other side, come center. I got her name perfect, yay, thank you, Kayleen. <laughs> Great. Good. We're either holding our imaginary weight or we're keeping our hands behind our head. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. Get your butt really low. Keep your heels down the whole time. We have 10. Let me see at least three more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right, we're getting our heart rate up again. This is the second time with our leg bands on. We only have one more time of getting our heart rate up after this. So we wanna see this fast and strong. 30 seconds inchworms, we're going in three, two, and one. Walk it out, walk it up, jump. Walk it out, walk it in, and jump. Beautiful. Get those arms all the way up. Oh, great jump, great jump. Great. And for those who might be on but don't have your video on, it is all good. Just keep doing what you're doing. Awesome. Good. Last three, two, and one. Hop up, cross jacks in three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah, let me see you move fast. Half done. All right, all out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Butt kicks, hands behind the head. Bring them down, bring them up, and down, and up. Get those heels up. There we go. Run it out. Let me see you fly. Good. Almost there. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Grab a sip of water. All right, this next exercise, you have the option to jump or not jump, depending on what kind of endurance level exercise you're seeking today. So what this can look like is a lunge jump. However, no matter which variation you're doing, I want you to stay low the whole time. So I'm not bobbing my body up and down. I'm staying low and I'm jumping. Okay, if jumping is not your jam today, your reverse, reverse, step, step. Okay, so either way, I stay low. So choose your position. You can do a variety of both if you want. We're gonna go in four, three, two, and one. Here we go, 45 seconds. Yes, and if you're doing the jumps, you can also do the jumps at a slower pace as well. Yes, great. Ty is flying. <laughs> Good, half done.
Awesome. Keep it up, keep it up. Last 15 seconds. Get your butt even lower. Show me what you got. 10. Show me four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on to stand. Kick them out. So even if you're doing that reverse lunge step, it's still hard to stay low the whole time. Those look great. Okay. In 10 seconds, we're going to start our second set to start to make your way up to the top of your workspace. Bend your knees, get low. We're starting in four. Three, two, here we go. <laughs> Up to you whether you want to jump it or step it. Either way, keep a bend in your back knee. Drop it down towards the floor. Mm -hmm. If you're doing the reverse lunge step, take a bigger bend into your front leg and drop your hips down. There we go. Good. Half done. Don't stop now. <laughs> yes, yes, butt's even lower. There we go, last 10. Give me four more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. So that got the heart rate up a significant amount and we practiced having one leg forward. Now we're gonna work into that with a single leg Romanian deadlift. So the goal here is actually to keep my spine straight the whole time I do this. So I step my left foot forward and my right foot back. Big old generous bend into my left knee. I start to hinge forward, squeezing the back of my right leg, coming flat, and I come back up. I hinge forward, straight spine, and I come back up. Now, there can be variations of this. If coming into a completely flat back just is not possible today, you can start to just hover the back foot up, set it down. Hover it up, set it down. Regardless, this knee has a bend in it that stays stable the whole time. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Left foot forward, right foot back, 45 seconds. In four, three, two, and one. And you can take your hands to your hips and come back. And you can also even hover the right foot off the floor. Don't let it touch. But keep the bend in your left leg the whole time. There we go. Good, balance practice and firing up the muscles of the left leg. Not only our bigger muscles, our hamstrings and our quads and our glutes, but also the stabilizer muscles that help keep our balance. Good, the whole time you're doing this, make sure your spine stays nice and straight so you're squeezing the glute on the right side. Good. Half done. Keep that bend in your left leg. Awesome, Jim. Mm -hmm. Last 10. See if you can take one or two of your lowest variation of the whole day for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and step the right foot forward, left foot back. We're going to work into the other side in four, three, Two, bend into your right leg, hinge forward, come back up, hinge into it, and rise. Maybe you're not letting your, light, your left foot touch the floor the whole time you do this. Super balanced. And if it's frustrating, keep going. You can do it. Continuing to go stronger. Good. Nice, now see if we can all take a bigger bend into our right knee, drop even lower, half done. Good, that's it. Yes. 10 more seconds. Mm -hmm. We have five, one more, four, three, two, and rest. Now we're going to do that again. That looks so good. good. And it really, really works the standing leg. So go ahead and step your left foot forward, right foot back. Good. You can take your hands to your hips. You can take your hands across your chest. If you want even more of a challenge, you can take your hands behind your head. Try to keep the right foot off the floor the whole time. We're going in three, two, and one. Hinge into it. And rise. Keep the bend in the left leg. 
hinge at the hip, come back up. Great. All right. Can be slow. Good. Think about how your core is supporting you here the whole time you were doing this. Last 15 seconds. Get your belly button down towards the floor. That standing leg should be shaking or working towards shaking. It is doing so much work. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and kick it out, kick it out. Last set, then we're gonna get our heart rate up one more time. And we have our last lower body exercise. Step your right foot forward, left foot back. Hand variation, your choice, hips, shoulders, or head. Bend the right knee, 45 seconds. Here we go, hinge into it. And come back up. See if you can hover the left foot, don't let it touch. Good. So we're slowing down, we're working into strength. A lot of balance. Nice, keeping that back leg nice and straight. Good. Even bigger bend into the right knee, you can do it. Awesome, last 10. I wanna see two more of your best ones that you've done all day. Mm -hmm. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk to the back of your workspace. We'll take a quick rest after this. 30 seconds, inchworms in four, three, two, and one. Walk it out. Walk it in and jump. Walk it out. Walk it in and jump. Keep going. Let's boost that heart. Last time we're doing this today. We're already half done. Big old leap. Get even higher. Yeah. Last 10. Then we're going to hop up for cross jacks. Five, four, one more. Three, two, and one. Hop it up. Cross jacks. Get those arms and legs flying. That's the step. Woo, here we go. Last 10, then we're coming into butt kick variation. All right, give me fast. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get those butt kicks going. Hands behind the head, take them up. Back and back. Good. Get those legs up. Awesome. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Last lower body exercise of the day. Sumo squat pulses. It's kind of a choose your own adventure for how deep you go. So I set my feet nice and wide. I angle my toes out. Now the goal here in this exercise is not to let your legs fully straighten for the full 45 seconds. So I drop into it and I just pull down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Now it can be here really hard or it can be here as long as your legs don't ever fully straighten. So we are constantly contracting, building those muscles the whole time. So let's get going together in five, four, three, and choose the most squat pulse. And it could be worse. If we were doing a wall squat hold, we'd just be holding the whole time. So think of a tiny release, up, down, inch, up an inch, down an inch. Now see if you can drop your butt even lower. Good. By the end of this set, our legs should be shaking. Great. Mm -hmm. Half done. Keep going. Do most squat pulse. Keep your chest up. Don't let it round out. Mm -hmm. Good. 13, 12, even lower. 10, 9, 8, 7. Butt to the floor. 5, 4, 3, 2, and rise to stand. Kick it out. All right. We got our second set. 
Then we're doing some standing balance work, and then we're gonna drop down to the floor for our core. Step those feet really wide, angle the toes out towards side walls. 45 seconds, drop your butt into it. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Good, even lower. You can do whatever you want with your hands. I just have mine out for stability. I like that. Good, stay low. Good, as you do this, pressing the outer edges of your knees back. We don't wanna let our knees flop in. Ooh, squeeze it. We know that this is our last push of strength of the day. Mm -hmm. 15 more seconds. See if you can go lower. Worst case scenario, you burn out. You try it. Last 10. Good. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Kick it out. All right. So we're going to practice our balance today. So we've done some work with our legs back behind us. We've done some work with our legs out to the sides. What I want to explore now is working with our legs in the frontal plane of motion, so in front of us. So let's start by placing all of our weight into the left leg. And I want you just a couple times to practice lifting your right leg up and off the floor. And maybe you don't let your foot touch the floor, you just lift and hover. So I want us to think of this work as really being core work. It's just standing core work. So we are gonna drop down to the floor for some more core work, but this is the prelude to that. Good, four, three, two, lift that knee and hold it. Grab the back of your leg, kick it straight, and bend. Now if you can, release your hands out and in. Six, five, four, three. In two, we're gonna kick and hold. And one, kick and hold it now. If you can, little pulses up and up. Last thing, eight, seven, six. Use your core. Five, four, three, two, and hold the knee in. Hold. Set it down. Let's work into the other leg. Shift the weight into the right leg. Left foot comes off the floor, up and down. 30 seconds. And you can either tap the floor or you can just lift and hover it. And I'm pulling my belly button in the whole time. Otherwise, my hip flexor is going to scream. Great. And maybe you want to get crazy. You want to put your arms out. You want to put them up. You want to do some spirit fingers. I don't know. Last 10 seconds. Good. We're going to hold it in four, three, two. Pull that leg in. Grab the back of the thigh. Kick it out and in. If you can, no hands. Mm hmm six, five, even if it's low, that's fine. Four, three, two, let's kick it straight. Little kicks up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and pull it in. Set it down, butt kicks to open up the quad. All right, our last work of the day, we're coming down for core. We're doing one exercise on our back. And then the other minute we're doing seated. So our first exercise, I make my way down into the back. I take my legs to the tabletop. I reach my arms up and back. I tap my heels, arms up and back. Tap my heels, 30 seconds of that. Next 30 seconds, I come up to my forearms, extend my legs up, 30 seconds, drawing circles one direction. And then 30 seconds the other direction. If you want more of a challenge, do it on your hands. Okay, so let's start on our backs. Legs and tabletop. First 30 seconds, we're going in three, two, one. Reach your arms up and back. Tap your heels. Take it back. Tap your heels. That's it. We'll roll through it. Good. Making sure that my knees stay stacked over the hips the entire time. Great. Mm-hmm. Good. Last 10, then we're gonna rock and roll up to sit for our clock and reverse clock. In five, four, three, two, and one. Rock and roll up to sit. And I encourage everyone to challenge to do this on your hands, it's more challenging. If you absolutely can't do it on your palms, drop down onto your forearms. Otherwise, legs up, 30 seconds, circling to the right. Make them big. Yeah.
God. Last 15. Then we're going to take a quick pause and we'll circle to the left. Good, 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Quick hamstring stretch. Good, rolling up to sit, legs extend up, 30 seconds to the left. Good. Nice. All right, half done. Make them even bigger. There we go. Last 10. Good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the feet out. Take a forward fold. Stretch it out. Now, if the workout seemed a little bit easier for you today than normal, uh, that's because we did slightly fewer exercises for our lower body. That did not mean it was easy. That just means we're working our way back into working out after a holiday weekend. Some of us might have worked out. Some of us might not have. Regardless, we're easing our way back into it. So don't be fooled. I'm not becoming soft. <laughs> Good. Shake your head. Yes. Uh-huh. Rolling up to sit. And then make your way up to stand. We have about three more minutes of stretching, and then I'll send you on your way. Set the legs nice and wide, hands to hips. Uh, start to bend, alternating knees, working side to side. Good. About 30 more seconds here. Seeing if you can drop your butt a little bit lower each time. And this is an actual exercise that we're gonna work into tomorrow. But today we're just taking it as a stretch. Awesome, last 10. Really straightening out to the alternating leg, big inner thigh adductor stretch. Two more, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand, reach both arms up, take a breath in. Exhale, twist over to the right, drop the hands down, framing the leg, let yourself hang. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. We're gonna do the other side. We're gonna come through center and then we are done. So enjoying the stretch, letting your body hang, shake your head no. Three more big breaths. And then start to roll yourself back up, stand, arms come up, big breath in. Uh, so over to the left. Yeah, letting the shoulders drop. Letting the forehead drop down towards your left side. One more breath here. Good. And after your next one, rolling up, stand, arms coming up, big breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands down, forward fold, last 30 seconds, stretch, enjoy it. Imagine you're pulling your floor space in opposite directions with your feet. And I'm looking through my legs. The back of my neck is really long. I'm relaxing my fingers and my toes, my brain. Last three breaths. When you're ready, nice and slowly, one vertebrae at a time, roll yourself up to stand, reach your arms up, take a big breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands together, give yourself a round, nice job, everyone, welcome back. We'll be here tomorrow, working our bodies nice and hard. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Nice job, Laurel. Great job, everyone.